Hello and welcome to the highlights of the 103rd edition of Schel de Preis, the Sprinters' informal world championship on the streets of Salton, just outside of Antwerp in Flanders. It's another of the big semi-classics. They just keep coming and coming and coming at this time of the year. And some very, very big names looking for a really prestigious win. It's all about control here for Katusha, MTN Quebec and Tinkoff Saxo. And the control element is controlling the size of the gap and when they bring these guys back. So, first attacks from the peloton on the Brugstra. The gap now getting towards that bridgeable area. We saw Colt Energy getting involved a minute ago. And now, here we go on the attack. This is exactly what the race needed. Here's the break. Neutral service has been taken out of that gap, thankfully. Are we going to get any attacks? I think Katusha will be happy to keep those attacks at bay. Hence the reason they're riding fast. They're riding in formation at the front. They want to keep their leader, Christoph, safe. And they want to prevent those attacks from coming from behind. This is an absolute disaster. Come on! Peloton has got to be quick here. It's got to be strong out and they've got to be narrow. Stay safe, everybody, please. Oof. Thank goodness for that. De Vrij's attacks. Time to go for Astana. Laurens de Vrij giving it his all on the cobbles. Chase behind is from the man in green, Vincent Giron for Europe Cup. Peloton, though, gaining on them now with seven kilometers to go. Still a good few hundred meters on this cobbled section. Inside the final three case now. Numbers in the peloton diminishing all the time. Look how stretched out this is. Great job from Etix Quick Step because no attacks allowed here. And the way they're looking, the way they're looking, it's going to be Matteo Trentin. And here comes Andrea Guardini in the light blue for Astana as we approach the final kilometer of Scalda Prize 2015. Oh, but look at Alexander Kristoff. He is the man to beat here. From Popel being brought to the front as well by Trek. Oh, we've ride us down! Dear, oh dear, oh dear. You can see it happening, and it's going to be a sprint between not everybody who wanted to be involved there. Well, Katusha moving up at just the right time. At the minute, it's Francis Dejou with Marc Saho trying to do some things. Christophe has lost most of his team, and on the wheel is Trentin, ready to go and ready to sprint. Here we go, it's a sprint of just 10 riders. Pitaki is in the right place as well, but it's going to be led out by La Francaise de Jeu here. Bernie Eisel there for Sky, Viviani hasn't made it, and here goes Christophe on the left left-hand side. Christoph to go now for a long one. Can he do it again? Christoph and from Poppel. Christoph through the middle though. Christoph, does he have it? Christoph, he's hit the front, but they're coming round the far side. Hutarovic is there. It's Christoph yet again. Nobody can beat him. Alexander Christoph, the man on two wheels in the world at the minute. He won in the Ronde. He's won here in Skelda Price. Now can he win in Roubaix? Top 10 in Scala Price 2015 sees Alexander Christoph as his name to the very prestigious honours list here. He beats Edward Tens of Belgium, Jaheni Hutarovic of Belarus in third place, with Max Saho, the Neo Pro from France, getting a fantastic, fantastic result. Third last year, fifth this year for Danny van Poppel, with Trentin down in sixth place. He's the winner here at Scala Price. It's Alexander Christoph, the man of the moment. Say, the black.